let's see how I've set up my interior to use the VR headset inside Unreal. I have made a few changes to the scene as well. I've tweaked the materials for the wall and the draw in order to appear a little bit more shiny now. I have moved the trees a little bit closer to the windows. And the palm leaves needed a little bit higher light map resolution, so I've increased its size a bit. Now, if I go to the cameras folder, you'll see that I have four Unreal cameras created as well. All I did was to duplicate the camera that I've created previously and position them throughout different locations in my scene. I've also oriented them to look in different directions. Another thing I had to do is add few more reflection capture actors here and there to get better reflections. Ok, let's set up the level for VR now. There is a plugin which I can use that will prepare most of the setup for me. First, let's go to the bottom of the screen and in the view options I will enable show engine content and show plugin content. Now. If I go to the left and drag all the way to the bottom, I will see a folder called V-Ray Teleport BP Content. I am going to go to the Teleport folder, select the V-Ray Teleport Pawn, and drag and drop it into the scene. Now, I need to make sure it's placed exactly on the floor of my scene, since this will be the lowest level the VR headset can go down to. Next, I'll turn off Use Camera Height since I just want the camera's positions on the floor and not their height. In the viewpoints list, I'll add 4 array elements. And then, I'm going to place my 4 cameras in them. Alright, those are all of the steps required to set up a scene for using a VR headset inside Unreal. Now, I'm ready to take my first walkthrough in the level. Let me put my VR headset on for a second and let's press play. You should be able to see approximately the same things I see with the VR headset. Note that I'm using the controller's trigger to teleport between cameras. It's quite fun to be able to walk around and take a closer look at what I have set up. As you can see, the results are quite realistic and it gives us a great immersive experience.